Okay, we got a new episode from Elite Cameraman. Everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Yeah, Today Elite. Today we'll go over when episode 62, the finale of season 20 might be released and also talk about potential leaks that we might get later today. It's been... Oh, I hope so, because I think tomorrow we, we can get a new episode, you know? Four days. What do you think about that? Since episode 61 was uploaded and we've yet to get any news on the next episode, even though it's been more than four days now. Yeah. This is pretty, uh, our, our last episode, we need to wait for last episode five, uh, five days. Wait for episode 62 might become the longest wait for an episode so far. Oh, do you think so? If it goes on like this, from what I can understand, because of the lack of leaks and updates on the new episode, we might have to wait one or two more days. There is. Oh, so sorry. So. So do you uh, do you do you think that we need to wait one week for for the next episode? There's also a possibility that it'll be in three days. Hopefully we'll get it much sooner than that. But for the last couple episodes, the episodes came out a couple of hours after the leaks, and we get an update on when it's going to be uploaded ten minutes before the upload. Usually yeah. Defuk takes. And you know, for me in my time zone, right now the premiere. Uh, the re release date and hours of the newest episode right now is pretty late uh, for me so i i can um i can agree uh, re record my reaction uh, many hours later so said that the Boom changed the the date of the release the hour of the release it's a break after a full season is finished and the season I can cannot be right now the first reaction. <laughs> 20 was going to end with episode 62, <laughs> so this could mean that we may have to wait even longer for episode 63. Either way, I'm going to be talking about what could happen in episode 62 and the coming episode, and how we might start seeing the female characters more and more after the reveal of Speaker Woman. Anyways, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and like if you don't want to miss the upcoming analysis videos, I already mentioned that a full story arc is over and we'll now be starting from a new slate with new dangers and new adventures, basically. The Alliance in the first 19 seasons seemed like they weren't really close, but now it seems like they are tougher together and have an unbreakable bond. On the other hand, we have Skibidi Toilets with their internal conflicts because of the Astro Toilets going around and trying to take down G-Man Toilet. Do you think that the Astro Toilets uh, knife back uh, to the G-Man? Some kind of, you know, they Jimin uh, is losing and uh, fin uh, UFO Toilet finish him. What do you think? We have many and many mysteries that needs to be solved and many characters that are being awaited to come back. I'll mention all the theories about when Plunger Cameraman might come back. What happened to the Simp Cameraman? Why is Titan TV Man yet to be seen even after 15 episodes? How will G-Man and Scientist Toilet strike back? Who is the strongest female Alliance member? If you don't want to miss any of these, make sure to watch until the end. Let's start with who the strongest female alliance member could be. Of course, the, the TV woman is the strongest. And continue on with what I think could happen in episode 62 afterwards. Uh, we don't know all abilities of the uh, speaker woman, but right now what we uh, see, I think TV woman. It is widely known that the hottest, um, forget what I said. I mean the strongest I <laughs> elite I female character in the Skibidi Toilet universe so far is TV Woman. At least so far, we already know that Camera Woman's powers are nowhere near TV Woman. This could change later on with upgrades, but with base stats and abilities, they have TV Woman would win in a second. But when it comes to Speaker Woman, it's a different story because we haven't even seen her abilities if she has some. What she showed in episode 61 was pure talent and battle IQ and nothing else. Her movements and tactics are far better than everyone else we've seen in the series. Her battle IQ is most likely higher than Plunger Cameraman as well, and it seems like she has been training because to make those moves while wearing high heels and being careless is no easy. Yeah, fighting with high heels is really sick, you know? Move. She didn't even utilize her jetpack in order to fight the penguin's skibidi toilet. She used her speakers to propel her... I don't think so. This is a jetpack. Maybe this is something more. Delf onto him. These slick moves makes her ice cold. I really do think she might be the only that could go against TV Woman if they decide to betray the Alliance one day. With her skill set and unknown abilities, she might be almost on par with TV Woman. One advantage she has over TV Woman is that... 
TV woman won't be able to mind control speaker woman with her TV beam since yeah. speaker woman doesn't have eyes or a camera. I would love to see them fight, but I really don't think we'll be getting a fight like that soon. And on the other hand, usually after female characters are revealed, we don't see them for quite a while. It might become the same case for speaker woman as well, and we might see her after five to ten episodes if Dafuk goes on as usual. But I feel like the next time they are shown, it might be them teaming up just like how Titan Speaker Man and Titan Cameraman teamed up in the last couple episodes. I really do believe that huge episodes are on the way. Especially episodes 70 and 71 will most likely be the biggest episode so far. I hope so. I hope so that we can get something big. My expectations for the next episode are high also since it's the end of season 20. Usually season endings are good for reveals or conclusions to certain stuff, and we already have gotten a big reveal last episode, which might mean that we'll get a conclusion on one of the mysteries. Even if we don't, I do have a guess on what the episode is going to be about. I think after episode 60, we know that the Alliance will start on pursuing G-Man Skibidi Toilet with the help of POV cameramans and the large TV man revealing the locations. I think it might be a similar episode as episode 55, where they get ambushed while going to the Skibidi Toilet base. Or we'll get to see the side of the Skibidi Toilets again to continue the story even further. Uh, I really don't think so that we can get uh, the fight between Titans uh, that fast. I also do think that we'll get to see the secret agent again in this episode because he usually does appear in episodes like this. That's if my guess is true about what's going to happen in the episode. There is also the chance that Cinema Man will come back with new upgrades, but that's very unlikely if you ask me. I think we need to wait 10 more episodes. Or maybe he arrives to save the Titans. I think his return will be between episodes 67 to 72. I'm almost 100% sure of this because of the structure of the series have been going on and how long it takes for characters to come back. The main question comes in when we talk about Plunger Cameraman, because for him, I really don't see a timeline where it takes 20 plus episodes for him to come back. Even though he only has been injured for a couple of episodes so far, I believe that he'll come back before episode 70 with a whole new look and big upgrades. I already talked about this in my previous videos, but I think he'll be getting new mechanic legs which are very fast and durable alongside with new... I think he needs to be a bigger if a uh, plunger cameraman uh, wants to be a, a, you know, first plane... The character new clothing and new weapons which are not just normal plunger because we saw how useless they were in episode 57 against titan speakerman i think he'll get to a point where he can fight the titans alone with the help of mech scientist cameraman with plunger cameraman being injured we also have seen the simp cameraman being injured and left on the battlefield as well there is no way that was the end for him yeah His i agree his up tv woman will make him surpass any character in the series I think he'll be going on a slight villain-esque arc in the upcoming episodes, and even though he won't be a bad character, he'll become very ruthless and start improving faster than almost everyone. He'll most likely stop caring about his ethics and how he does stuff because being left behind by the woman he loves and adores probably hit him very hard. He is most likely left emotionless at this point, and I really do feel bad for him. Stay strong. I, I feel bad for him too. Strong, brother. Yeah. We also have the case of G-Man Toilet and Scientist Toilet teaming up after Scientist Toilet's upgrades in episode 60. Dafuk will 100% continue this arc because have you seen the views this episode has gotten? It surpassed almost everything and is still going strong. It literally lit a new flame for the series. I don't see a world where they lose to Astro Toilets, but the Astro Toilets will surely be an annoyance for a while. They'll most likely show up from time to time and we'll most likely start seeing people third-partying battles to take advantage and it'll start becoming a free-for-all brawl instead of a duel between two races. If you have any other opinions about this topic, make sure to comment it down below. Okay guys, this is really great. I am wait uh, I waited for the Allied Cameraman analysis. What do you think? Watch my other videos, click on the screen. Thank you for watching.